I am the Lorax, I speak for the trees, and oceans, and biking, and rafting, and skis. Can we in good conscience simply neglect the earth which our industry strives to protect? How could our business make a global impact in a way that is meaningful and based in fact? So we read a big book to steer us on path. Drawdown, it's called, filled with charts and real math. So our team, we made plans and outlined a range of challenges designed to reverse climate change. We had grand ideas, build bridges, ditch meat. We just weren't prepared for the scope of the feat. We started with food and, and examined each bite to see where it came from, from grain to egg white. We'd eat less meat and we'd compost with care. We'd buy our food local to clear up the air. Motivation was thin, meat eaters revolted. Our plan to eat local seemed to have folded. The soil was cold, no growing to be done. From in May, it's too early to harness the sun. In July, we challenged the business assumption that AC and lighting are vital consumptions. We reprogrammed the thermostats, hoping to learn that a kilowatt saved is a kilowatt earned. But willpower dwindled faster than we thought, since July in our town was wickedly hot. Employees who couldn't handle the sweating discovered the thermostat's override setting. <laughs> we experienced hiccups in this project's debut, but we certainly learned a thing one or thing two. While we didn't reach goals by our honest admission, we labeled success with our own definition. Learning to Nemo is success on its own, and you bet we're designing new milestones. I am the Lorex, and I do declare adventures at risk. It's our job to repair.